Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be talking about something that you might have seen on the internet before. It was trending a few years back, but now suddenly we've seen a resurgence of this. Can you guess what I'm talking about? Well, today we'll be talking all about magnet gels. Now, I know what your next question is going to be if you haven't heard of it before is what are magnet gels? Well, magnet gels are just like your regular gel except they have a special magnetic particle in them that makes it glittery, it gives it a 3D effect, it's going to look really beautiful. One of the most important and unique things about magnet gels is that you use a magnet stick like this one here to activate the magnetic particles in your gel. You can create all sorts of beautiful designs and ways to move the magnet, have the magnet particles shift so that you get these beautiful 3D dimensional designs. And the best way though to use magnet gels is to just play around with them. So today in this video, I'm going to be playing around with a couple of different designs that I pulled from the internet using inspo from Cocoist, Japan, and other places here and there to see if I can recreate some of the looks and maybe, you know, come up with my own looks along the way. I think to get acquainted with magnet gels the best, you really have to play around with them. So hopefully by watching this video, maybe you'll get a better idea on magnet gels and I hope you're excited to watch this video. Now on to the video. All right, so looking around on Instagram, trying to find some inspiration for a planet magnet, and I thought this is really cute. It's from Cocois Japan, and I think I'm gonna try to recreate it exactly. And they it looks like they used Chrome Pen and the Planet Magnet Three. So let's get started. Here is Planet Magnet Three, and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this as the base. There's the first layer, and now I'm going to use my magnet. I'm satisfied with that. So I'm going to go ahead and cure. Because it's kind of a sheer layer, you can always put a base color underneath if you think it's too sheer, but the planet magnets work great on their own. But I, you know, I just want to add a little bit more glitter magnet effects. So I'm going to go ahead with a second coat. And I actually don't like this. So the great thing about magnets is if you don't like the way you're magnetizing one, you can just go ahead and refresh it by painting it over it. You don't even have to grab new magnet gel. You can just, whatever you had on, brush it back on. I like that. Okay, since we'll be putting chrome on, we want to make sure that we give our base coat a good wipe with our alcohol. Now I'm ready to apply ultra glossy top coat to apply the French tip. Okay, I'm just going to use my metal palette to drop some ultra glossy on there really don't need that much since I'm only going to be doing one nail and this part I'm going to be swiping it on the tip you yeah, might want to do a little bit deeper so and obviously you cannot see it that well but there is a difference in texture and then I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with my nail thoughts detailer brush Okay, once I feel like I've gotten a good enough application of what I wanted to do, which was that tip, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this only for 10 seconds. For the ultra glossy, since it is super glossy, it's not gonna stick if you do anything more than 10 seconds or so. Marker's line would recommend around 20 seconds. 
but you might want to play around with it to see what works best for your Chrome application. All right, now that I have it cured, I'm gonna rub my silver Chrome pit on it. And since we wiped it with alcohol, it's not gonna stick anywhere else. And just dust off the excess with my Camellia brush. And I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. Look number one inspired directly from the Cocois Japan Instagram page and you can do this with any of the planet magnets and I'm sure it will look great. Second look I want to create is this cute water droplet effect and I think you can use this using the planet magnet and a couple other things to create these cute water droplet -y effects. So let's see how I can do. I've got my almond short here. I'm gonna be using Nail Thoughts and Pool Float as my base. For this one, one coat is enough for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Earth, the Planet Magnet Earth. It's this beautiful blue color right here. And I think this is gonna really help the pool float to pop and help me make that water droplet effect. So let me go ahead and get that on there. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna use my magnet to help those particles come alive. So I'm satisfied with that glitter effect and I'm going to cure. And I just went in with a sheer second coat and I'm actually not going to magnetize this. I like the way it looks. You have the little magnet effect there and then you have the unmagnetized particles there which gives it a very pretty effect. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to make my water droplets with Excel Builder. Here's my little jar of Excel Builder. Cocos 4 gram. It is a hard gel. Mainly used for extensions actually. But today we're going to use it for creating these water droplets. Here's that. Soap it. Get on here. See it's very hard. Get on my palette there, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of ultra in there. And mix those two together. I'm not trying to be too neat about these, just kind of placing them where I see fit. Make sure they're random sizes. Maybe I should make this one a little bigger, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, and now I'm careful. And there is that. I'm just going to add my top coat to seal it all. And I'll be right back. One I want to try doing is this one because Dragon's eye is usually used under a black or a dark base, but if you use it under other colors like this one, you can create all different types of effects. I really want to try that out with this color because I think it's going to look really pretty. So let's go ahead and see if we can recreate this color I'll be using today. It's going to be E220 Midnight Cyclamen. That's what the color looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and use that as my base. Go ahead and cure. Here is one coat of my E220 Midnight Cyclamen. And I'm not gonna do a second coat of this one. I think it looks great just the way it is. And it's my base for my Dragon's Eye. So Dragon's Eye is gonna come in these bottles. And let me open up so you can see what that looks like. I mean, look at that. That color shifting effect already so pretty and it's gonna look even prettier on the nail I bet so let's see how this looks I 
and already you can see that it shifts color. I'm gonna go ahead and use my magnet. I'm gonna create a French. I did something a little different. Mm -hmm. The effect is very much there. I created a little bit of a French tip with my dragon's eye. You can still see the midnight cyclamen just peeking through there. There's that. And because I just want to make it look a little bit more whimsical, I'm going to take my E56 and blue white and add a couple of constellations. There's one constellation right there and I think I'm going to add another one right here so I'm going to take a little bit of concentration but I'll be right back. Here it is. I'm just going to go ahead and add my top coat now. That way it'll give that beautiful shine. Cure it. And I will be right back with the finished look. It looks very cute. The last look we're going to be going for, and it's going to be using our newest magnetic goodie, which is the unicorn's eye. Let's go ahead and try it out. And I already have boysenberry candy on here, that's E175, but I'm going to add another coat of it, so it's two coats of the boysenberry. Here's my second coat, I'm going to go ahead and cure. I'm going to go ahead, since I'm going to be putting chrome pen on the entire nail, I don't need to necessarily whip with alcohol, but I'm going to go ahead with a layer of my Ultra Glossy. Make sure it's a thin layer. I got my layer of Ultra Glossy on there. I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 10 seconds. I cured it for 10 seconds only, and I'm going to use my Chrome Pen Aurora Blue and go over the entire nail. Make sure I thoroughly covered it and any excess powder, of course, I am going to dust off simply. There we go. And now to add even more of a unicorn -y effect, use, of course, the unicorn's eye. There's the unicorns I applied, and I'm gonna use my magnet stick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that now. There that is, you get the chrome and the unicorn at the same time. And I'll just add a top coat to this to seal the deal. And that is the finished effect. I think I did a pretty good job. They used Aurora Pink, but I want to go with Aurora Blue. And as you can see, it's still a very beautiful, pretty unicorn effect. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of video and you want to see more videos of me playing around with looks or trying to recreate some looks that I pull from here and there using special different types of gels or colors or inspirations, let me know and I will do my best to have this out for you. Other than that, if you did like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And also as well, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Don't forget to also follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I hope to see you all next time. Matane! Bye bye!